discuss capacity and capacity optimization, specifically focusing on capacity planning. I'll select Plan. This is where I can plan for future projects. For example, standing up a number of web servers for a customer-facing website. I'll select the Add Workload Scenario. Let's call this scenario Customer-Facing Web Application. I'll select the data center I'd like to simulate adding this to. I'll see if it can fit in any cluster within this data center. I'll provide the application profile configuration for compute and storage and the expected utilization as well as a number of virtual machines. I can also import my application profile from existing workloads. I'll change the date to April 1st. The end date can go one year into the future. Let's go ahead and run this planning scenario. I can see the planning scenario information at the top, and at any time I can modify the data center I want to run this planning scenario against and rerun the scenario. Looking at the private cloud area, I see that the workloads will fit. I see the monthly cost and that I have plenty of capacity to last over one year. Here I see the peak compute and storage values with the additional workloads. I'll select View Details to view the additional utilization that this planning scenario would add. This data is also represented graphically for compute and storage. Simply switch between CPU, memory, and storage. Let's return to the summary. This planning scenario also provides public cloud comparison against VMware Cloud on AWS and Amazon Web Services. I can see the monthly costs for each of these public clouds. Let's go ahead and learn more. Starting with VMware Cloud on AWS, I can see that I need to start with four hosts and the expected utilization with the workloads added in this planning scenario. I can see the on-demand monthly costs as well as the one and three year subscription costs. Let's get more details about these additional workloads on AWS. I see the monthly costs in the US West region and the equivalent resources needed in that region. I can see what that would look like in a different region if I desire. Let's say US East. Notice that my monthly costs will drop. Lastly, I'd really like to save this planning scenario for future use. I'll go ahead and save it. I can now come back to this capacity planning scenario at any time.